Right guys, so I said in my last video that I'd be heading to the gym to try for a final time to hit my 1200 pound goal of raw total powerlifting at squat, bench and deadlift combined, um, one rep max. So gonna go in, I'm currently sat on 1150, so I'm really hoping that I can push through, find an extra 50 pounds or around about 20 kilos in my combined lifts and um, get that 1200 pound goal which would be a massive massive achievement for myself and it feels like a bit of a milestone I feel like at that point in my mind I feel like yeah I can compete in powerlifting um, so that's the goal I've currently well I haven't trained now for about a week um, kind of going through a period of detraining which I feel like has been beneficial I've really really pushed myself the last um, three or four months I've consistently been training six times a week um, so I think it's been very beneficial for me to take a little bit of time off over Christmas. I've eaten what I want to, not really thought about what I'm taking in. Um, eaten lots of meat though, it has been a, a bit of a meat fest I must admit. Um, but it's been really really good for me to just relax a little bit and um, take some time away from the gym. But now I feel like taking some time off and you're never really sure what's going to happen when you're taking time off. You could go back in and absolutely smash it because your muscles are fully rested or there's a lot of times you go in and you just feel a little bit weak. So um, we'll see what happens. Um, hopefully it'll be a good session and I'll be able to push through and get to my, um, get to my goal. Um, so obviously I haven't been on creatine now for about a week as well, which never helps. Uh, I do definitely know it's a little bit of a difference when you're on creatine. Um, just feel that much more powerful and ex uh, explosive. Um, but excuses aside, let's just get to the gym. It's a, I'm actually back in Bournemouth, so I'm not at my normal gym. So I'm going to go to one just down the road. It's actually not a bad gym, I've been there once before. Um, so yeah, let's go and see what happens. I'll see you at the gym. So made it to the gym. God, I, to be honest, I'm not really sure whether there's much point in me even doing this. <laughs> I feel I'm so run down at the moment. Um, don't know how strong I'm going to feel once I'm in there, but I'm going to try and get in the zone. I'm going to give it everything I've got, uh, get my music on, get some beats blaring, and um, hopefully you'll find the inner motivation to push through the session and still be able to hit a personal best. <laughs> That matches my personal best, uh, 160 kilos on squat, raw. So actually what I'm going to try now is, I've never used one before, I'm going to use a lifting belt. So I've got to give them one for Christmas to tempt my back a little bit. Um, and it might really, really help me. So the premise is obviously what I want to do is compress, you know, push with my abdomen, breathe into my abdomen, and push against that belt for support, and brace myself, hopefully that should just pop me back up. But it's the first time I've used it, so. Let's see how we go. I'm going to try it on 160 first to get a feel for it and then maybe we'll be able to go beyond. Let's see. So that felt pretty comfortable actually to be fair so let's keep going beyond it's a weird feeling really really strange feeling pushing against something other than my abdomen so it's something it's something strange not not a feeling i'm used to but i feel i'm really excited actually to keep using this i think it would really push through and it's really going to help this year in terms of making some real real gains so let's keep going let's try 170 see how we get on we fail we fail but let's give it a go
if at first you don't succeed. that I'm not sure whether I just watched the video about it. I'm not sure whether I'm 100% happy with the depth I'm not sure whether it would have quite counted if I was actually in a powerlifting meet but do you know what for Bud's today it's Christmas I'm not feeling great just for a morale boost I'm going to give it to myself alright moving on to the bench now so we're going for 150 which in the past I've done very comfortably uh, it's just going to be a touch and go I'm not doing pause I think that's something I'm really going to focus on and next year is doing pause obviously competitions you need to pause so yeah, let's go, go for this, it'll be, it'll be a joint PR, and then um, if I'm feeling strong, we'll keep going. He'll do nothing. He'll do fucking nothing. Not one of you will do nothing. Get the fuck out of here! Oh, that actually spot a 101. Never touch the bar. And let's go. Okay. I didn't manage to do it the second time, I was too impatient to get in and do it again. Um, but unfortunately, I've just blown all my energy um, the first time round, so I just couldn't quite finish the movement. So, anyway, disappointing, very disappointing. But anyway, moving on to deadlifts now. So, I'm hoping for my personal best currently is 210 kilos. I really wanted to get to 220 by the end of this year. 10 kilos off. Let's see how we go today. Maybe today's going to be the day. Right, so I just hit 180 kilos, beltless, and now wearing the belt. Um, again, I've never actually tried deadlifting with a belt on before, so it's going to be a new experience. Um, I'm going to hit 200 kilos first of all, um, and then I'm going to move on and try and hit 220. 210, as I say, is my PB, but I feel like I hit that and then try and go to 220. I'm just not going to be able to do it. I want to fry my central nervous system. So let's see how we go. Always the hardest part of any workout for me is waiting, actually giving myself sufficient rest periods. But for me, I like to keep my workouts really intense. And obviously, when you're powerlifting, you need to give yourself sufficient rest periods. I mean, really, you should be working out like if it's maximum effort, give yourself sufficient rest time, probably four sets in half an hour, seven, eight minute rest period, something like that. I probably worked off about four to five minutes today. I probably, if I give myself a little bit more time, I could have maybe push through a little bit harder doing even better but still got this 220 to go I'm going to try and make myself rest hence why I'm really filming this bit um, but I'm, I feel like I'm in the zone it's just going to be the day I feel it it's going to be the day let's get it I can 
So we made it back to the car. It was a really, pretty damn good session. Really, having felt ill, no creatine in my system, which obviously is going to mean a lack of power by comparison. Overall, a really good se uh, good session. So I managed to beat my previous personal best at squat, hit 170 kilos. Um, per previous personal best was 160. Um, looking back at the video, I wasn't 100% happy with my technique. A little bit of rounding in the back, not quite sure whether it would have counted if I was doing a powerlifting competition. Not quite sure if I'd hit quite the depth they would have been looking for, but it was pretty damn good. So um, I'll probably just about give it to myself. Um, bench, so unfortunately it's already talked about. Um, it's a shame. I mean, if you're going for a personal best twice on the same weight, squat was a one-off. And I feel I've got a lot more left in the system, which is why I managed to hit that on the second attempt. However, on bench, 150 is pretty close, or, or is my maximum anyway, so to have to do that twice, I think it was always going to be unlikely I was going to get it the second time. But there we are, nearly did, and I know I've got that within me. Um, and then deadlift, similar thing for the squat really, it hit 220. It was a real grind, a lot of rounding in the back, but so I'm going to have to work on that I think. But overall, a really good session, so I just need to work on the technicalities of some of my lifting I think now. But the lifting bar has made a massive difference. Straight away, personal best squat and deadlift. And that's my first time using the belt. <laughs> really exciting times ahead, I think, really. Um, and just to finish off that session, I also did um, six exercises, um, accessory movements, just to finish an all-over body workout. So I did a, a chest exercise, a triceps exercise, a back and a biceps exercise, and then um, a quad and hamstring exercise and then a calf exercise as well just to finish off so it's probably the longest session I think I've really had in the gym for a very very long time um, really time consuming obviously doing powerlifting when it's one rack, one rep and it's maximal you have to wait quite a sub substantial amount of time in between sets I probably didn't wait long enough in some cases um, so yeah I must have been in there a good hour and a half and normally I'm in and out in sort of 45 minutes when I'm doing a session I like to keep it intense so um, overall good session, a lot of things to obviously work on um, going into the new year but I think unfortunately even with my personal best say is a 150 pound bench press I think that, uh, sorry 150 kilo bench press I think that essentially puts me at a well converting that to pounds which was my target of 1200 I think that actually puts me at 1190 I think I'd have to double check that um, but so that's slightly disappointing if it's 10 pounds off. I mean, that's pretty bloody good. Um, so an exciting year ahead. I've talked about in my previous video. Physique competition coming up in the summer. And a powerlifting competition hopefully in um, in the winter. And it'll be my first um, of both of those. I've never done any competitions regarding sort of fitness or powerlifting, physique, anything like that. So it's going to be an exciting year. Um, please... Um, let me know your comments down below. What are your goals? As I said in the last one, what's your goals for um, the upcoming year? Um, whether it's powerlifting, physique, whether it's to run a marathon, what is it? I mean, what is it, what's driving you? It's always good to have a goal to set your mind on because otherwise it's very easy to give up and we're coming to that time now where it's New Year's resolutions and all the rest of it. And um, it's gonna be easy for some people. I think I read an article the other day where New Year's resolutions generally finish or people generally give up um, around about the first week into Feb. Mostly that's fitness, New Year's resolutions. Um, so around about five weeks they tend to last and only 8% of people actually reach their goal um, at the end of the year. So really low percentages. Um, so yeah, let me know what your goals are. Um, thank you for watching. Again, I think it's quite, probably quite a long video. I'm going to try and edit it down, but I still think it's going to be very long. Um, and please like, comment, subscribe, um, share the video if you're feeling really kind. Um, and I try and stay very, very much more consistent with this now. So I've got a much better tech and all the rest of it. So editing and filming shouldn't take so, be so much of a hassle as it has been in the past. So that's it, guys. I'm going to wrap up now. I'm going to stop rambling. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.